This year's Critics Week competition at the Venice Film Festival had a strong female presence. And Turkish director Azra Deniz Okyay's feature debut, Ghosts, came out on top. It's a day in the life of various residents in a gentrified Istanbul district. And Variety praises ghosts for creating strong individual character studies while painting bigger sketches of different communities within one location. Let's talk to the director of Ghosts, Azra Deniz Okyay. So, Azra, congratulations. How are you feeling? Were you expecting this? Thank you so much. Um, I didn't uh, think about how uh, festival way could uh, begin when I was doing the film, but I'm absolutely so happy for my, for my team and my friends. Okay, to so this me. this is your debut. So it is really interesting. It is a really yeah. great success for for a, for a Turkish filmmaker. So tell us how you found yeah. out and what you felt like when you found out about this prize. I mean, uh, we we work a lot, a lot, like a lot, like the, my last uh, few years. Um, it was really about writing uh, what I know very well. And um, last year I didn't sleep at all. So when I discovered this uh, new talent award, I get been really uh, proud about what I done with my uh, with my team. So mm -hmm. I appreciate the recognition. Nations, mostly as a uh, as a filmmaker from the new generation, of course, from Turkey, of course. So yes. um, you said that you you've been working quite hard, and I know that you crowdsourced this project. So uh, tell us about the making of the movie. And it was your debut. You're this female filmmaker, this young filmmaker from Turkey. So tell me how that all went for you. So uh, when you are beginning. Uh, to decide to make a film like that, uh, you have to be uh, really like a sportive uh, in um, Olympic Games. So you have to work a lot all the time. Every morning you have to really vote and vote. And you are sending a lot of uh, the script about to do uh, working progress, uh, submission stuff. You get being refused a lot. And one day you are really uh, finding a producer like mine, Dilek Aydan, she's a really genius. So we, we began to share our love about what we want to do as the, this project. So we, we, get, we begin our journey just uh, one and a half years ago together. But be, before I was uh, almost um, getting some help with, with friends, but I couldn't really uh, enter to this uh, project who uh, became a big uh, hurricane for us. <laughs> okay, Cine Europa. Uh, reviewed your movie and they said Ghosts has one of those brilliantly metaphorical titles. So tell me why you chose a title. I chose a title because uh, firstly it's really um, it was about writing about my, my friends, my, my new generation in Turkey and feeling sometimes not really existing about some reasons. And uh, as an artist, I, I need to, to get uh, some different words that I'm uh, getting this kind of a metaphorical way to enter to this uh, film. Mm -hmm. And I think that uh, many people can feel ghosts, uh, not just about one country, but uh, many. So I decided to make a space uh, like that with the words and making uh, uh, my own uh, film. Voilà. The wow. titles are just coming in a kind of metaphorical way, yeah. You are pretty visible, I guess, now. So, not a ghost anymore, Azra. So, uh, you said that your movie uh, resembles a woman for you. You want it to resemble a woman. Tell me what this means. Uh, not resembling, but I am a woman, for sure, from Turkey. And I adore the words of Janan Dardevan. She's a really important um scientific uh, person who's making robots in USA for health, for uh, body parts. And she's using, I'm making robots like a curvy, multitask, a colorful and uh, um, hyperactive way. And I completely agree because uh, I made a, a film like that. Mm -hmm. And the film is like that. So I am what I am and the film is be, being made with this energy and my team mostly composed by women, by the way. 
-huh. I just choose uh, the talented ones and there were women. And there is a bit of a lack of uh, boys or men in your movie as well, you know, sure. they're not really seen on the streets as much as women are. So do you think that you made a feminist movie in that sense? I think that uh, I am, everybody has to be feminist. Uh, we are even, be, I can use the post-feminism. I mean, people have to be uh, involved or not, but they are seeing that we are here uh, and we are making other stuff. We are characters. So bringing uh, the characters that I know on the film, it was so natural for me mm -hmm. because I know them very well. I'm not becoming a woman uh, in the morning. I'm becoming a woman when I'm on the street and I have uh, troubles or my words be being cut uh, when I'm talking. Uh, you are not becoming a woman uh, like that. And just uh, showing my friends, my characters, the women that I know, that I analyze, the women that I grew up with in Turkey, with multicultural heritage, I needed to, to write them and to show them. So feminism, it's about just not recognizing our rights. And we are here all the time. So as a new generation, we are more uh, maybe uh, on image right now, but it's just the beginning. Okay, so as this is your debut feature and you said that it's just the beginning, I want to ask you lastly about your aspirations as a filmmaker. My inspiration is many, many stuff. Um, I, uh, I grew up in Turkey, and I'm so proud of, uh, about that. I grew up with multi-language, uh, multi-cultural heritage. I got an immigrant family, both of different sides of Turkey. And I, I made it to this film, like a hand woolen carpet, I'm calling it, with many colors. And my inspiration was all the people that I've uh, been, uh, been involved all my life, uh, as an architect and urban planner's families. I saw all, all the different uh, social issues and I also been inspired by also cinema who I could uh, see in cinema movie theaters when I was a so kid. But I think that we are as a, as a filmmaker, I, I made it uh, my own tools, working hard before as a video artist and also, uh, also documentaries. I mean, you have to get your tools, nobody get your tools, but you have to uh, get a lot of uh, into it what you learn and you have to work a lot like Olympic uh, sportive for getting your tools. I mean, for bringing a new universal language for everybody. That's why maybe we get the prize. All right, Azra Deniz Okay. Lovely to have you. Congratulations and best of luck. Thank you so much. <laughs>